Right now at the bottom of the hour, we continue to follow that breaking news unfolding on Capitol Hill in our nation's capital. We understand the all clear has just been given in that area. Police investigated a reported active shooter situation after authorities received an emergency call about a gunman. The Russell Senate office building evacuated. Josh Chapin is live at the federal building here in downtown Raleigh with what he's learning from our local senator's office. Hi, Josh. Yeah, Lauren, I've been talking to Senator Budd and Senator Tillis's office this afternoon while all this was going on. The senators themselves are not in Washington. They are in district here throughout North Carolina and certainly a difficult day for all the staff members who had to shelter in place while all this was going on. But the good news this afternoon, uh, a member of Senator Tillis's staff just texted me saying they have been given the all clear. Here is some video we just got in of folks uh, who were being ushered out, were being evacuated out of the Russell building in Washington. Washington. This is where Ted Budd's office is. His staff tells me they've let the folks in that building leave, uh, but I guess at this point they've cleared most of the areas of the Capitol. Uh, a blast went out to everyone in and around the Capitol this afternoon after a 911 call came in for an active shooter. We will just also just heard from the chief of the Metropolitan Police Department in the last couple of minutes. Take a listen. We have officers uh, screening people at every entrance uh, that's open. And so it would um, would have been unusual for anybody to be able to get in. I'm not saying it's impossible, or, uh, but um, certainly we had to work on the assumption that somebody may have gotten in. But um, we had no indication from all the entry points that we staffed that anybody uh, came in that was suspicious. At this point, it appears it's going to be a lengthy investigation into in Washington as to what led up to this 911 call, who placed this 911 call. Uh, we're going to continue to press our local senators this afternoon, their staff, to get more information. The good news here, Lauren and Joel, that that all clear was given. Back to you. The investigation continues after a tense afternoon on Capitol Hill. Josh Chapin covering it.